is there an update on MHIL? Well, the, there was a little issue with respect to MHIL where about 48% of the shares are in the name of Colonial Life and then another 6% are held on trust for Colonial Life by CL Financial. And there was an argument about the validity of the trust and that sort of complicated matters. So we resolved that recently by um, getting CL Financial to uh, transfer the shares to Colonial Life for a sum devaluation and that money is put in escrow awaiting the determination of whether that trust is legal or not. So we are now in a position where we can move forward with a, a, a majority block of shares of um, MHIL and we will be looking at options. We'll be looking at options in terms of whether we should dispose of the shares for, for, for value, for cash, whether we should put the shares into NIF, that was the plan with respect to NIF2, that that was a major component for NIF2, or other options that may come onto the table and we will be in discussions with um, the CEL group, that's the Forman group, in the near future. But that is part of our national budget for 2018 and also into 2019 to monetize those shares. Okay, so the, the, the best thing to do, from as far as I'm concerned, would be to keep them and maintain the, the income stream and use those shares as assets to back a second um, disbursement of um, NIF bonds. However, you also have to look at the fact that if CL is buying the shares, they give us US dollars. Mm -hmm. So it's a significant, uh, and that's a significant sum. Those shares are worth over 300 million US dollars. So if we sold those shares to them, if, if agreement was reached on the valuation, because that's another thing that has to be crossed, you know, you, you do an independent valuation, that's what the court has required to be done with all CLECO assets. And then you offer it to them, they may say they may challenge the valuation. But let's assume we get all of that sorted out. And the government decided as a matter of policy, we need the foreign exchange. That's over 300 million, could be as much as 350 million US dollars. So those are, these are, these are complex decisions. As I said, the, if it was an ideal world, we would like to be able to use those shares to back uh, a NIF2 offering. Okay? All right, any other questions? And we made a budget review. I will announce that in about 10 days. Okay, great. Now, have you quantified the amount of money that is still left uh, to recover from Clico CL Financial? Not at this time, Mr. Wilson. You know, we're claiming over 23 billion from them. It's in the billions. I can't. I don't want to put my head on a block and give you a figure, say five billion, six billion, seven billion. Mm. But it's in the billions. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.